All right, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about a little more Cypress stuff. Uh, we did a video on how to get set up with that in the past, uh, fairly recently, so I will link that in the description. So check that out first if you uh, are just getting started. But today we're gonna to be talking about um, HTTP requests and how we can kind of stub those out and fake those in our tests with Cypress. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So this is just a um, React app going right here. Uh, I'm making a fetch call to this uh, endpoint right here, JSON placeholder. We're just fetching a few users. And then if there are some users, we're gonna display them um, out on the page. If there isn't, uh, we're gonna throw an error if this uh, route doesn't work. And that's what we wanna test if an error state's thrown. So we're gonna test that and set this error here to true. And if that's true, we're gonna print this, uh, display this on the screen. So that is how this uh, is gonna work. Now we wanna see how we can test this. Um, and to do that, we're gonna be using a function called intercept, which comes with uh, Cypress. So let's uh, check that out. So I created a uh, file over here called users.spec.js. This is our test file. You can see over here in our users, uh, when I was showing you before, we did this form uh, spec in the last video. Um, but this is just a user spec here, and I'll show you kind of how everything works with that. So uh, we're gonna have a describe block, and then before each, so before each of these tests are run, which is this block here, these are gonna be, this is gonna be an individual test. Before uh, each of your test is run, uh, we're going to hit this endpoint, which is our local host 3000, which is where our app is running. Uh, let me just show you that app right now. So this is the app that we're running here. I'll refresh it. Um, so what all that this app's going to do is we're going to hit this get users and it's going to display these users on the screen. So that is what we're testing when this uh, route doesn't work and doesn't return anything. We would want to return an error state of some sort. So in order to test this, let's just show you this full screen right here. Uh, we're gonna use this intercept here. So cy.intercept, you're gonna say what type of request is it? For us, it's just a get request. Uh, and we're gonna try to hit this uh, API endpoint right here, slash users. Now, in order, this is gonna intercept this request. So any request made to this in any of these tests here, uh, it's gonna intercept that. And then we're gonna display an error code. Uh, and we're gonna have a 404 error code. Now, if you wanted it to be uh, a request that actually worked, you could have a 200 request and send back some data. So you can also send back like a body here if you wanted um, with some sort of uh, body message as well. Uh, we're not gonna do that for now. Uh, we're just gonna hit with the arrow uh, with the 404 and show an error. And then this as fail is just going to label it in our uh, test suite. So I have the test suite running right now. Again, this is just the test that's gonna check. So we're gonna find the button, we're gonna click it, and then we're gonna hope this uh, ID of error exists because I'll come back to uh, the app over here. Uh, ID of error right here is what we're looking for. So hopefully that all checks out and makes sense. So this is our test right now. You can see it's run. Uh, I'm running it right now in uh, my terminal. Um, we can uh, refresh that just here and run it again. You can see it uh, runs it, it clicks the button. It does it kind of fast, we'll run that again. The button's clicked, and then this something went wrong is displayed. Now, over here, let me bump this up a little bit if I can, yeah. So if you can see what's going on over here, uh, these routes, so you can see it says stubbed yes, and that the alias down here has failed. That was the as that we uh, labeled it as before. We labeled it as fail. So it's gonna intercept this right here because it says that it's been stubbed out. And you can see that again right down here. It's showing that it's been fetched and this is the stub that we uh, added. And then finally, you can see this assertion here. We are showing the uh, ID of error, which is right here. All right, so I think that's basically all uh, I wanted to show you for this. So I think this is pretty cool. Uh, this is pretty a common thing that you'd wanna do is stub out uh, URL endpoints in your tests. So hopefully this helps you on your journey doing that. But uh, until the next one, thanks for watching.